Now we are going to calculate the volume of the region that is enclosed by the graph of these three cylinders. Now, this is a graph of the three cylinders, all right? And I have uh, done this that included the uh, live script for MATLAB in a description of this video. So you can see if we look at the common region and I'm just going to open it in half. So you can see that the entire volume would be how much? Uh, twice the volume in this upper region. And actually it would be, if we say it that way, eight times the volume in the first octant. So let's look at, a, at the graph in the first octant. So as you can see, this is a graph of uh, x squared plus y squared equals one. And this one is uh, x squared plus uh, z squared, actually. So x squared plus z squared equals 1. OK. And uh, this one is y squared plus z squared equals 1, right? OK. So now since here the upper parts are given by two different equations instead of taking this region and multiplying by 8 we can do a further subdivision that just take half of the first octant in here so that what that will do for us is that that will have then we will have to deal with only one function as the you know as the one that gives the height all right so let's just go ahead and take half of the first octant then so here we are in the uh, i don't know how to say that say first first half of the uh, first octant so this is the x-axis we got y-axis and z-axis uh, this is given by z square plus x square equals one and we are in the positive territory or say non-negative actually. So this is square root of one minus z equals the square root of one minus x square. And this boundary is given by x square plus uh, y square equals one, right? And this angle is pi over four. So if this region is r, then what happens is that here uh, in this our uh, altitude will be given by z right so our integral will be set up as what double integral over r of z that is 1 uh, minus x square dA and that is going to be if we switch to polars x is r cosine theta so that is square and then we will have r dr d theta and theta will go from 0 to pi over 4 and r from 0 to 1 right so this angle is pi over 4 and here we are looking at you know an elementary region all right, so let's go ahead and calculate this uh, uh, integral. Now, by now, this integral has become fairly routine for you. For instance, when you are computing the inner integral, you will do this. They just uh, one way since cosine theta will be treated as a constant in this process. So I can go ahead and set 1 minus r square cosine square theta equals u this being constant we will have r dr related to du and so you know we can just finish it at our convenience and since we have matlab available let's just go ahead and find the value in matlab so what i did was i opened a live editor and i typed the commands for you already okay so what i have done is 
you can see we will just uh, define symbolic variables r and t and then you can see for the inner integral I have entered this part, okay, uh, in a symbol symbolic manner, and then we are going to the outer with uh, t equals from 0 to pi over 4, and then uh, we will take 16 times this value. So let's see what this gives as an answer to us. So the answer is 16 minus 8 square root of 2 units, and you can finish this and compare your answer.